the two, the, the two people sitting side by side, the man in the pink tie and the man in the white beard, if you can be in a white beard. But you, you sir, first. Yes, you start. Having been around the first referendum and voting on it, it's like an echo chamber. <laughs> I'm listening to everything that took place then. Then we were told at the common market, oh, yes, our trade will be superb, we're going to get on with it, we can sell our products, and we've got Europe to go at. Now, after being asset stripped, this country, which was the biggest manufacturing industry in the world, <coughs> railways, shipping, airplanes, you name it, we built it. Electric engines that were on the Panama Canal in the 1800s and were still there 100 years later. And they couldn't put one back, that they buy in Japan. OK. Um, English electric and the likes of that were lost. And you, sir, next. Woman there on the left, there in blue. Yes. You. Thank you. I am really fed up of all the arguing. Nothing is getting really sorted out. We are a democracy. The House of Lords is not elected. <clears throat> Our MPs are, and they are there and always have been to carry out the will of the people. For me, all this in bickering has been said is going on too long, and I cannot see why they just don't get their act together, get rid of the negativity that I have picked up here. They should really not talk about failure of these talks that they're having it's about having a positive outlook going into it churchill would not have put up with all this and i am beginning to think and no matter people may laugh but donald trump was able to go and get an agreement without the will of his parliament so to speak and I'm beginning to think that possibly someone like that is needed here All to right. take charge and sort it out.